Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on construct functions. Our objective is to determine and interpret the rate of change and initial value of a function. Our real-world link today is on parties. Dylan is planning to have his birthday party at a skating rink. The rink charges a party fee plus an additional charge for each guest. First, choose two points from the table and find the rate of change. Well, if we pick just two random points, let's pick, say, 359 and eh, 565. If I use those as my two points, in order to find the rate of change, we can take 65 minus 59 and subtract 5 minus 3. Remember, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, that simplifies into 6 over 2, which is 3. So the rate of change is 3. Second, write a function to represent the situation. Well, our total cost y is our dependent variable, so we're going to be solving for y, and that's going to be equal to 3x for the 3 times the number of guests, so $3 per guest, but it doesn't start with 0. If we look at our table, each guest, if you kind of go down, is going down by 3. Well, if we go down one more, that's going to be at 50. So 3x plus 50. Now it says graph the ordered pairs, then extend the line of the graph until it crosses the y-axis. Well, again, our number of guests is our x, so we can write in number of guests. Our y-axis is our total cost. And that's in dollars. And then graph the ordered pairs. Well, we have an ordered pair at 153, which is around here. We have an ordered pair at 256. 359, 462, five sixty five, and six sixty eight. And as we draw a line until it crosses the y axis, as we go through those points. It says, now fourth, use the function to find the amount the skating rink charges for the party fee. Well, basically, when you have no guests down here, you still have to pay $50, and then you're paying $3 per each guest. That was also our y-intercept here in our function. So this 50 here represents the amount the rink charges for the party fee. So our answer to that is simply... $50. Let's continue on. Now, to analyze graphs, words, and tables, the initial value of a function is the corresponding y value when x equals 0. Again, our y-intercept. You can find the initial value of a function from graphs, words, and tables. So, Music Inc charges a yearly subscription fee plus a monthly fee. The total cost for different number of months, including the yearly fee, is shown in the graph. Find and interpret both the rate of change and initial value. Well, let's look at the rate of change first. And in order to find the rate of change, let's find it first. Let's pick two points. Well, I'm going to pick 115, and we might as well just pick 218. And remember, 
with rate of change is the same thing as slope. If we have x1, y1, and x2, y2, we can use our slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to solve the rate of change. What is this equal to? Well, 18 minus 15 over 2 minus 1. We simply substitute in our 18 for our y2, our 15 for our y1, the 2 for the x2, and the 1 for the x1. And now we can simplify. 18 minus 15 is 3, and 2 minus 1 is 1, which leaves us a rate of change of 3. Well, what is this rate of change? Well, this rate of change is a monthly fee. So we can say the monthly fee is $3. Because as you look, it's the number of months and the total cost. Well, each month goes up $3 here, as you can see. Well, that must be the monthly fee. Now, the initial value, somewhere down here. And what you're going to be asked to do is to extend this line all the way where x is 0. Well, so what is this point then? Well, if x is 0, all of these y's, 30 to 27 minus 3, minus 3 to 24, minus 3 to 21, minus 3 to 18, minus 3 to 15, well, the next one then, if we subtract another 3, is 12. So our initial value, by extending the line, and looking at where it crosses our y-axis is 12. And what does this mean? Well, this is our yearly fee. So the yearly fee is $12. So we have a $12 per year plus $3 per month. A zoo charges a rental fee plus $2 per hour for strollers. The cost, the total cost, of five hours is $13. Assume the relationship is linear. Find and interpret the rate of change and initial value. Now with this, we're going to use the $2 per hour here is an important fact. That $2 per hour is our rate of change. So for our rate of change, well this is simply two dollars per hour. And we can identify, define that as our hourly cost. Now what about our initial value? Well, it's not quite given. However, what we are given is a rate of change of 2, so our slope here is going to be 2, and we're also given this fact of 5 hours is $13. Well, we can take that fact, 5 hours is $13, and write that as an ordered pair, our hours being our x, 5, and our total cost being our y, so 13. So that can be our xy. Where is this useful? Well, we can use our y equals mx plus b, our slope-intercept form of the line. We know our m, we know an x, and we know a y, so we can solve for b. So if we substitute in, we have 13 equals 2 times 5 plus b. Now why am I solving for b? Because that b is the initial value. That is the y-intercept. So, as you solve, 13 is left on the left. 2 times 5 is 10 
plus b. Subtract 10 on both sides to solve for b. 13 minus 10 is 3, so 3 equals b, or $3. Now what does that $3 represent? Well, we found the hourly cost for our rate of change. So this must be the rental fee. So this means $3 rental fee. So on this problem, we are given the rate of change of $2 per hour, so that's our hourly cost. Then we said, okay, that hourly cost is going to be our M. We created an ordered pair with the 5 hours, $13. We substituted those into slope-intercept form in order to solve for our B, since our B is our initial value. Once you solve, you have your rental fee, you have your hourly cost, and now we can move on. The table shows the monthly cost of sending text messages. Assume the relationship between the two quantities is linear. Find and interpret the rate of change and initial value. Let's start with our rate of change. Now you can pick any two points from this table for rate of change. Let's just go ahead and pick the two smaller ones. Let's pick 5 is our x, as it's labeled there, and $10.50 is our y. And our next point we can say is 6 messages for x and $10.60 for our y. Now remember, slope can be calculated, or rate of change, same thing, as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And you can go ahead and label these points x1, y1, x2, y2. And you would have a result after you substitute in $10.60 minus $10.50 over 6 messages minus 5 messages. Well, $10.60 minus $10.50 is $0.10, cents, and 6 minus 5 is 1. So we can interpret this as being each text costs 10 cents. And the other way, just as a side note, to write 10 cents is the whole number 10 with our cent symbol. But this would be the preferred way with the dollar sign. Now what we're left to find is our initial value. And we're going to solve this very similarly to the way we solved it in example two. Let's take our slope, and our slope here is 10 cents, 0 0.10, and take a any point, you can pick the 5, $10.50, 6, 10, 60. Just to change things up, let's pick the 7, 10, 70. But you could pick any of the three points. Now, write our slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and substitute in. Our y is our $10.70. Our m is the 10 cents. Our x is 7 plus b. Now this works out kind of nice because we have $10.70 equals, now 10 cents times 7, no, that's 70 cents, plus b. Then you can subtract that 70 cents from both sides in order to solve for b. That cancels. And what you're left with here is $10 equals b. So what does this mean? Well, we have $10, and the $10 is the initial cost of the plan. So to summarize this example, 
we need to find and interpret the rate of change in the initial value. So you first need to find the rate of change. Might as well do that first. Pick any of the two points, calculate the rate of change, and interpret. Well, if it's 10 cents, and we're going up, okay, 10 cents for every one, every one what? Well, it's 10 cents per message. So each text cost 10 cents. Then we can use that slope, 10 cents, and any of the three points we picked, seven messages and $10.70, write in slope intercept form, making your substitutions in, and solve for B. And B is our initial value, which in this case was $10. That is it for this lesson. Good luck.